And on the east wall of the room are two carved stone columns flanking the remains of a covered sedan or litter with statues of attendants standing nearby. All right, fuck this shit. Uh, Scones gets in the sedan, and we drive off and get the fuck out of this <laughs> horrible dungeon. Eric just kind of walks in and says, "This one looks kind of busy." <laughs> I was, <laughs> yeah, lo- designed almost. I was gonna make like the same joke where it's like, "Oh, I didn't know Mesoamerican culture <laughs> included Toyota Camrys." <laughs> They really won't will advance civilization. <laughs> all right, so all the doors bordering this lozenge-shaped room are made of heavy bronze. Colorful glyphs are inscribed on the western, that's the bottom wall. There are two sideboards against the walls to the east. In the middle of the chamber are two stone divans, each with a human figure stretched out on it. Between the divans is a low stone table holding a flask and two goblets, all made of crystal. In the bottom of the crystal flask is, as I'm apparently supposed to read out to you, is a quantity of silvery dust. I like the description of the room as shaped like a lozenge. <laughs> yeah, like, this we, is a real... We all just stopped <laughs> listening after that point. <laughs> this is a real Tom's shape room. <laughs> It's shaped like a cough drop. Not that cough drops were invented back then, unless they were. Hell of I know. <laughs> Alright, the figures on the divans are a male and female, each about middle aged and perfectly preserved. They are very still, dust covered, and again, I'm just basing this word for word, apparently dead. <laughs> I. You love to hear that one. This is my favorite I room so far. <laughs> Because of the lozenge shaped room, because of the apparently dead people. I wish, I wish every room in D and D were narrated like this. <sighs> oh wait, that's an official description. That wasn't you like improvised. Yeah, it, it actually <laughs> says lozenge shaped room. <laughs> the room is shaped like a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> We got this lemon head shaped room over here. It's a stop sign that someone has stretched out. <laughs> and the room shaped like a psychonauts character. Oh. The, the book shaped room is. <laughs> you walk into a large room shaped room. It's shaped like the head of one of the characters from the Katamari Damashi series. <laughs> you walk into a large room <coughs> shaped small like a small room. room. <laughs> <laughs> and you order you walk up to the to the window and order a small medium water. <laughs> the room is shaped like a square shaped block of wood. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just like a this straight up like <laughs> This looks like some operating table. Aerie, you're up. Aerie unleashes her ultimate move. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I have no idea how fast or slow that's moving. It's still going. So it, it, it might legitimately take a minute. I had some time. There you go. I don't really have much to think about regarding my moves. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. oh okay. I, 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 did that one hit? I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Roll that fucking damage! Holy, holy shit! shit. Okay. Right. Holy, 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 holy! How much health did he have left? He only had eight health left. Take <laughs> it away. Take it away. What are you doing? How are you doing this? Give it reaches into a jacket to pull out a, uh, to pull out a standard fireball potion. Uh, and while she can't positively identify what exactly it is that she actually got, we would be able to recognize it as a, a grenade. She just kind of pulls the pin and chucks it at the guy, reducing him to, uh, a puddle and chunks. Nice. Uh huh. I gotta remember the recipe for that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Scones wipes some of the viscera off his face. Pulls like an eyeball out of his eye socket. 
It's like... Damn, you should have tried that one earlier. I don't know where it came from. 31 damage. <laughs>